you cannot learn kubernetes without any hands on experience on real kubernetes clusters uh -oh. but creating kubernetes clusters in the cloud are so damn expensive in this video, I will provide you with free resources where you can create Kubernetes clusters online for free. Personally, I use these platforms myself for learning, practicing or preparing for Kubernetes certification. So make sure you check them out and watch this video till the end. Let's start. If you follow DevOps market, you might already know the most common way to create Kubernetes clusters these days is using cloud providers. Obviously, due to many benefits, this is fine for production. But if you are a student or a professional who is looking to have a Kubernetes or learning purposes, these options can be very, very pricey. And this is why we are going to look at the first platform that lets you create Kubernetes clusters for free online, which is Play with Kubernetes. To get started with creating Kubernetes clusters, all you need to do is search for play with Kubernetes and click on this first link, which will take you to this page and read down here it says, play with Kubernetes is a lab site provided by Docker. To log into it, you can log in either using your GitHub or Docker. So I'm going to log in with my GitHub profile. It will take me to the page where I can start with creating Kubernetes clusters. These clusters are available for up to four hours and you can start creating it by clicking on this add new instance which will add up a node and then if you want more nodes you can go ahead and adding it as well. Let me show you how it is done. So once you click on add new instance there's a node one here and you got some commands to create or set up your cluster. So you can bootstrap a cluster with these commands. Let's copy them one by one and paste it here. This is a command to initialize kubedm init and you can see it's getting ready now. Once it is done, I'm going to run the next command. Okay, so the kubedm has been initialized. I'm going to run the next command to set up cluster networking. So this is the command to set up cluster networking. And now my cluster is ready to confirm a command kubectl get nodes and it's a control plane node. Let's say you want to add more nodes to this particular cluster, you can do that by running this kubeadm join command on the new nodes, click on add new instance here and just paste this command so that it joins the cluster I created in this mode 1. It says that this node has joined the cluster and you have two node cluster, one being master and second one being a worker node. To confirm, I'm going to run the command kubectl get nodes command. And you can see there are going to be two nodes now. There is node 1, which is the control plane, and node 2, which is not ready yet, but very soon you will have two nodes as well. You can also see more information about the nodes here, so you can see how much is the memory consumed, how much is the CPU for the node 1, similarly also for node 2 as well. And this is how you use play with Kubernetes to set up a Kubernetes cluster and also add nodes. Another great option to create Kubernetes clusters for free is using Minikube. Minikube lets you create Kubernetes clusters in your local machine. So I already have Minikube installed on my local machine. Let me show you how easy it is to create Kubernetes clusters using Minikube in your local machine. So I can run the command Minikube to show you all the different options that you have. So you can see the command to start a Kubernetes cluster locally is Minikube start. So let's run the command minikube start and this will go ahead with creating a Kubernetes cluster locally in my machine which you can use for development purposes. So you can see minikube version 1.31.2 on open 2.22 which is my local machine and it's going to start my cluster where I can deploy my containerized application. Now if you don't have minikube and you want to install it, all you can do is search for minikube installation and you can install this from the official Kubernetes documentation. So if you scroll down, you can see install tools from the official Kubernetes documents. And if you scroll down, you'll see Minikube here. Search for your operating system. Mine is Linux x86. So I ran this command. Follow the steps to install Minikube in your local machine. Once you have it, you can run the Minikube start.
Although Minikube is so good and it lets you create Kubernetes clusters locally for free, it is still using your machine resources, your CPU, your RAM. Let's say you don't have a laptop with good CPU or good RAM, Minikube might not work. This is why we are going to look at next platform which lets you create Kubernetes clusters online, not using your local resources. So the next platform is Killer Coda. To start creating Kubernetes clusters using Killer Coda, all you need to do is search for Killer Coda and go to their official website, which is killercoda.com. In here, you need to log in again using your GitHub profile. I'm already logged in, and you can see there are different playgrounds here. Along with this, you also have labs for various DevOps tools like Argo CD, Linux, Git, HashiCorp, uh, Ansible, and a lot more. So this is not a sponsored video, but I recommend you to try out KillerCoda.com because you have all these different playgrounds to practice and this is free. So it's free and you can use it to either practice all this or to create Kubernetes cluster. Let me show you how you can do that. So I'm going to go click on playgrounds here. And in this, you can find different playgrounds. If you're preparing for CKS or CKA or CKAD, you can use these playgrounds. But if you want to create a cluster, I'm going to choose this one, which is a two node cluster using Kubernetes 1.30 version. So when I click on this, it will go ahead with creating a Kubernetes cluster with two node very easily, very fast. Uh, and it's also online, not using your resources. So this is two node cluster, but you can also create a single node 4GB cluster in this playground here. So you can see now the cluster is ready. I can check that by running kubectl get nodes command. And I have two nodes here. One is the master node and second one is a worker node. Both running 1.30 version. Let's try to run a pod and see if it actually creates a pod or the cluster or not. So it says pod has been created. I'm going to check that by running k get pods. And we have a pod running. So this is how you can create Kubernetes cluster very easily, very fast using Killer Coda. I use this all the time. I've also used this for my CKA and CKAD practice. If you haven't checked out the video where I've shown you different CK exam questions on Killer Coda, make sure to check it out. Uh, the link is going to be here. So this was our video on how to create Kubernetes clusters online for free. I hope this video was informative. If you have any questions, any doubt, Please let me know in the comment section. Like this video, subscribe to Cloud Champ, and have a good day. Bye.